As Marines, that's what we do. After a stressful month of training in Korea, U.S. Marines and ROC Marines get to blow off some steam with a little friendly competition at Warrior Day. The day starts off with a little fun and music while preparing dinner for the afternoon. This is a, a very important day due to the fact that these Marines have been training hard together for the last past 30 days. And at the end of the 30 days, this is like their culminating event to share some, some time with, with fellowship on the other side of the, of the coin. The event kicks off with four different sports. Sections of the ROC and U.S. Marines compete against each other using their strengths and weaknesses. It means relationship building. So if something happens here in the Pacific, we already have that, that relationship built. So you don't have to start from the bottom. It's already there. You uh, come together and start training. Just having exercise and done is not fun. So I think during this Warrior Day, uh, our Rock Marines can think about the U.S. Marine Corps more friendly and they're like my brother. The games weren't just another way to come closer together, as much as they were a way to decompress. Everybody gets to come out, enjoy the time, instead of just stressing about where is this going, how we're changing. Instead of worrying about all that, we get to just let loose, enjoy ourselves, and good times. Along with the sports, they got to sit together and share their culture. U.S. and ROC Marines partnered up and attempted to break the language barrier with food. For all the hard work they did, this is us as leaders to show our appreciation, whether it's in Korea or whether it's back in Okinawa, but to ensure that we show them our love and our appreciation for what they do. In the end, the real winner is a bond that was forged more than 60 years ago, growing stronger here today with the ROC and U.S. Alliance. Sergeant Karen Solano, Pohang, Korea.